Hey, yes, update on the uh, scooter. Um, it's been sitting all winter, but uh, I ordered the micro mesh uh, sanding uh, pads. And I sanded a, a gauge cluster cover, and now it's all clear. So I can see through that. I polished the headlight, but it's still yellow. I think it, uh, it's a different kind of plastic. And uh, it's like, I guess, all the way through. But at least you can kind of see the bulb and the chrome in there now. But I don't know if I could get it any better or not, but polished and waxed it. Paint job on it. Because uh, I want the bike to be recognizable. Uh, so it's gonna be, I'm gonna be in like a bad area. And they said a lot of these things get stolen. So I'm just putting this orange on there to be visible, be re easily recognized. But uh, this thing uh, had some wiring issues last summer, and I didn't get to ride it much. And so I've just been going through the wiring and all the factory wiring and uh, checking everything and putting some of this, uh, not sure what it is, but it's for automotive wiring harness, factory wiring harness uh, tape. It doesn't have the sticky on it. So I'm like uh, trying to route some wires that go together and get them all together and checking everything but I'm missing a front turn signal I believe I believe it's a front turn signal uh, these two this one's together and so I'm missing one Got me a pretty straight piece. That's what it started out as a uh, pipe hanger. But uh, see, making a uh, lawnmower battery tray. So I got uh, about four inches. So I'm going to make it like a hanger, metal plate, so it won't rub a hole or bust underneath something for it to sit on. So I'm going to uh, spray this with uh, 
uh, flex seal. I was gonna use that rubber mat, but I think it's too thick. And then uh, I'm gonna run uh, some metal, metal strapping around the outside to tie it all together. And then uh, just hang it. screw holes, and screw holes, bolts. Kitty, what are you doing? Waiting on me. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what it's gonna do. See how it works out. I put this bigger lawnmower battery in there just for uh, to have a battery to charge and juice to test this thing. But uh, started taking everything apart. Now I'm putting everything back together. I'm trying to get all the bugs worked out of it. Still having some uh, a couple of issues, so I don't really know where to start. But everything looks pretty good, and I got uh, some stuff to tidy up. Oh yeah, I gotta get some tape on there. A couple of one wire was kind of loose, and I already soldered it. Yet. Checking everything. And, uh, and I'm still going for the peeling aged rat rod patina paint on plastic, so I'm still working that out. Trying to make it look like rust and peeling paint and damaged and flaking and all that kind of stuff so but uh that's kind of where i'm at i brought this light out here to check it and uh make sure everything's all right but uh eh, i think it'll do some uh, logos and decals order maybe do something like STP or numbers or stuff like that and then I try to make this something like uh, copper but uh, yeah it's kind of I think it was like 100 degrees today so trying to I'm gonna work on this thing. I definitely got a few wiring issues from last year. And uh, a couple of guys were asking about it and telling me uh, a few things. But uh, well, we'll see where we're at and see where we could get on this thing. I appreciate y'all watching and commenting. And, and uh, want to know about it, so uh, yeah, kind of a little update. Now let me get on back on to sorting out some wiring. Appreciate it, thanks for watching. Yeah, uh, those are return signals. That's what it was. I uh, this way, I think this way I had it last year, but. I think cause uh, I think it should be ran through the green and into uh, this bundle of green wires. But I gotta get a really good connection on it to keep it blinking. And I do believe it goes to the green. But uh the other side works fine. There's the right side. But 
here. It's got blue, light blue, and green. And then this side has peach and green, like I don't know what I'm say, peach or light tan or something color. And a green. Dang, mosquitoes are terrible. So, uh, I guess it, uh, The only green ones we got, unless turn signals should be green there, so we would have to come off of the greens. But then we have yellow and peach, and then I don't have any other. Uh, wires but this really didn't look like a wire but came off of there it was really hard to tell I guess and uh, it was never on here when I got it so but you can see where I was having some problems that kind of melted getting kind of hot these were getting hot uh, and then uh, this was the problem but then I upgraded and put a little bit heavier wire with a 30 amp I guess fuse and uh, Yes, I know there's probably ain't the best connections on there either. But just for testing purposes. But uh I need it and then I think I put this fuse in. Uh, yeah, I think I put this one on. And uh, it was getting hot and a heavier wire and taped it up. So and I'm gonna you know go back and put uh stuff over this one that's missing some shrinks wrap or something but yeah I'm gonna get back to it and diagnose some more stuff yeah okay, don't stick your hand in places where you can't see oh boy I stuck my hand back there and there's like a wasp nest It's like a messing with those wires. This wasp in back here. That fucker, holy shit. Just checking those wires and them, about 10 of them came out. <laughs> Damn it. Luckily, that didn't get bit or stung. But had to, uh, had to get rid of that problem. how hot it is and I'm out here trying to fix this thing. But yeah, I went and put some shorter bolts on there. And then, uh, I don't know. We don't know. I'm still not getting at the crank. It's just spinning over. But uh, I'm not getting fire or not getting gas. So that's the I have to check that stuff out. But between the heat and the mosquitoes, I think I'm gonna call it quits for a little bit. Even though it's late already. Then uh, come out here and I mean still have to do the wire and then fix the wire and then solder a new wire and cover everything and instead of going there. It could have came from here. And even that wire seems a bit loose and that stuff, so uh, I might run a green from there and get, get that kind of patched in and tacked. Uh, 
instead of running it down here, you can do it well. Might work there. But, uh, it might need not be the right place, though, so, you know, once we get the headlight or the running light going, it might be a different story. But trial and error. Fix it yourself, or it don't get fixed, so. That's where we're at. I just thought I'd show you don't put yeah, that's a tip right there. Don't put your hand in anywhere that's been sitting and you can't see. So always lost nest. So uh, I'll check back in.